welcome to new episode if you are new to our channel we upload animated videos on regular basis to make your learning easy so subscribe our channel and be in touch with us today's topic is hyponatremia hyponatremia is defined as plasma sodium concentration below 135 milliequivalent per liter classification hypovolemic hyponatremia in hypovolemic hyponatremia both sodium and water is lost from the body but Sodium loss is more than water loss, that is, overall sodium concentration decreases in plasma. When we examine the urine of hypovolemic hyponatremic patient, if there is less than 10 milliequivalent per liter of the sodium in urine, it is due to sodium retention by the kidney to compensate extra renal loss. It can be due to diarrhea, vomiting, burns, or excessive sweating. On examination, if there is more than 20 milliequivalent per liter of the sodium in urine, it can be due to diuretics, HU inhibitors, renal salt wasting, Addison disease, cerebral sodium wasting. The treatment of hypovolemic hyponatremia is controlling the source of sodium loss and intravenous normal saline infusion. Another type is euvolemic hyponatremia. It is also called dilutional hyponatremia. In dilution hyponatremia, body sodium content is normal, but water content is increased. It can be due to SIADH, psychogenic polydipsia, hypothyroidism, or drugs like haloperidol, cyclophosphamide can cause euvolemic hyponatremia. And euvolemic hyponatremia or dilution hyponatremia is treated by fluid restriction in the range of 600 to 1000 ml per day and withdrawal of the precipitating drugs. Another the type is hypervolemic hyponatremia. In hypervolemic hyponatremia, there is more water content in comparison to sodium. It means water content is increased in blood, but sodium is also increased, but water content increases more than sodium increase. So there will be hypervolemic hyponatremia. It can be due to CHF, nephrotic syndrome, liver disease, or renal failure. The treatment of hypervolemic hyponatremia is treatment of underlying cause. Hypervolemic hyponatremia can be treated with fluid restrictions with or without loop diuretics. Another type is osmotic hyponatremia. When os os osmotic substances like glucose, mannitol, sorbitol, glycerol is increased in plasma, it causes increase of plasma osmolarity. When plasma osmolarity is increased, there will be osmotic shift of the water in plasma so that sodium concentration decreases. For the treatment of hyperosmotic hyponatremia, we have to treat the underlying cause. Every 100 mg per dl increase in glucose causes a decrease in sodium concentration by 1.6 mg per dl. Now let's talk about clinical features of hyponatremia. The clinical features of hyponatremia is predominantly neurologic. It is predominantly neurologic and symptoms depends on how fast sodium falls. Generally, no symptoms at all unless sodium drops by sodium drops below 125 milliequivalent per liter. In acute hyponatremia, there is rapid fall of the plasma osmolarity, so water flows into cerebral cells because when the plasma osmolarity is decreased and it is less than cerebral cells osmolarity, water enters into cerebral cells and there will be cerebral edema and ischemia. And patients develop anorexia, nausea, vomiting, confusion, lethargy and even seizure and coma. Acute 15 to 20 milliequivalent fall of the sodium can result in seizure and coma. But it is but the case is different in case of chronic hyponatremia. In chronic hyponatremia, there is gradual fall of the sodium level and cerebral cells undergo adaptations. They reduce the osmolarity to make the osmolarity of cerebral cells equal to that of plasma. So they excretes potassium and reduce the synthesis of intracellular organic osmolytes so that os cerebral cells osmolarity decreases which might be called to plasma osmolarity and there is no change in cerebral cell size so usually in chronic hyponatremia there will be no symptoms now treatment 
Treatment of hyponatremia depends upon rate of development, severity, and underlying cause. Severe hyponatremia with cerebral symptoms like seizure is treated with hypertonic, that is 3% NACL infusion. Rapid corrections of chronic hyponatremia. In rapid corrections of chronic hyponatremia, there will be the shrinkage and detachment of neuronal cells, and there will be myelinolysis, which can which can cause permanent damage of midbrain structure. So, in chronic hyponatremia, rate of the rise should not exceed 0.5 to 1 milliequivalent per hour. That is no more than 12 point in 24 hour. In acute hyponatremia with seizure. 2 milliequivalent per hour rise of sodium can be tolerable. So this much for hyponatremia. Hope this video is helpful for you. Thanks for watching. Thank you.